Christian power couple is power couple no more. After nine years of marriage, Megan Good and Devon Franklin is calling it quits. Her dressing was a problem, her hair was a problem, but as it turns out, there's an even bigger problem. Welcome back to another video. So after a very unusual courtship, which Megan and Devon explained in their book, The Wait, Megan and her pastor boo Devon Franklin tied the knot back in June of 2012. Their relationship story leading up to marriage was quite intriguing and nearly everyone was talking about it. And Megan and Devon were quickly becoming the ultimate Christian power couple. But the admiration and adulation was short-lived. You see, not long after Megan and Devon got married, the Christian community has been all over her criticizing her hairstyle and outfits, how they're not Christian-like and not a good representative of a first lady or of a pastor's wife, to the point where Devon had to defend her on many occasions. Check this out. You have to be born again. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you not you're not gonna defeat anything. You cannot. Okay. My question is this. <laughs> Amen. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Thank you. You are beautiful. I'm gonna say something to you. I. No, 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 no. And this is not Good offensive. I, I'm, yeah, I do. Question. There is not offensive. But I was at a, um, the grocery store, and I looked at a newsstand, and I saw you, and you had your breast shot. Mm -hmm. okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Uh -huh. It's all right. It's all right. So, so I wasn't going to come here. I wasn't. But the Lord brought me here to see you. You're beautiful. You are a beautiful young woman, and your testimony is awesome. It's awesome. Amen. Amen. And the Lord let me come to push past the judgment. Hold up. Okay, because this is real. Because you have to make sure what you say and what you do match up. You understand? Okay, so we're going to cover up, right? We're going to cover up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. That ain't, that ain't, no. That is not what we're here for. She's not going to cover up. She will wear what she want to wear. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 She going to wear what she wants to wear. In the name of Jesus. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Absolutely. God bless you. We love you. I love you dearly. But there is that. She has been as Christian as she has been that she is right now when she's worn whatever God is what she wanted to wear. So, uh-uh, we ain't, we ain't doing that. No. I love you. Shoot, y'all about to see a whole nother Devon. Y'all ain't seen. Remember, I am from Oakland now. <laughs> All right. So, that way, if, if we have questions, we'll take questions. We will take questions. But if you have comments, you can save those for social media or for your prayer closet. Amen.
they made her cry. And look at him defending his wife. Mm -hmm. But y'all, this definitely took a toll on their marriage. I mean, who wants their godly Christian husband to be constantly having to defend something so personal yet frivolous as their hairstyle and clothing choice? I mean, who? And I'm not so sure Devon enjoys it either, though he puts on a tough posture, you know, like he's unbothered. It's a lot to deal with. But you know what? The Christian community can be blunt and brutally honest. And when it comes to how they perceive Christian people to be, yeah, Christian people are very judgmental. That we all know. <laughs> and Megan Good is a beautiful woman, really. It's hard to believe that she's actually 40 years old. Girl got good genes, all right? But after the marriage, you know, her marrying a pastor, they expected her to make some changes to her wardrobe and hairstyle, get some save and sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, water baptized, hallelujah looks. But that didn't seem to be a part of the whole marriage deal for Megan. She wanted to add some love to her life, not to take away her ability to be her true self and give up anything she loved. Why do people have to change to please others anyway? I mean, she wasn't outrageous in her dressing. She's not Lizzo. And I get the whole, you represent your husband when you're married or in a relationship, and your husband represents you. But sometimes people do go overboard with their expectations, and they have to remember that he fell in love with her the way she was and should expect her to continue to be the way she is. Modern day Christianity, deal with it. So Megan took as much of the dragging she could take and got tired of her husband constantly having to defend her and have been contemplating getting away from it all. But the thing that pushed her to the decision to leave is, are you ready for it? The wait was never over for Devon. The wait for children, that is. They waited until marriage to have intercourse, but Devon is still waiting for his child or children to be born, allegedly. It's not been over for him. Devon wants to have children and Megan wants to focus on her career. Megan has been indecisive about children for years. The deal was to have children, but Megan's indecisive back and forth for nine whole years has been less than comforting for Devon and very frustrating for her. Her husband's desire for kids that she was not having a desire for took a toll on their relationship. And although Devon would still stay married to her because he truly loves her, plus they're already married, Megan is finding it hard to live with herself knowing that she's keeping her husband from something he desired. And she probably could have given him earlier on, but didn't. And surrogate is not an option she wants to participate in if she becomes unable to birth her own children. In the beginning, she told him she wants to have children. Watch this. Well, one of the big conversations was obviously children. And, um, you know, in the beginning, I was like, I, I think I want to be a mom. And then when we first got married, I was kind of like, wait, do I want to do this? Because I feel like this is what I'm supposed to do. And then from the moment you get married, everyone's like, when are you having kids? When are you having kids? And you're like, I, I, I don't know. I just got married. And the great thing is Devon has always been um, like, okay, like I'll let you have your process and who knows what that process will bring. Um, and for me, it was really like, you know, do I want to do this? And for a minute I was like, I don't, I don't know that I do want to be a parent. And then I'd say in these last two years is when I've been like, wait, I actually do want to do this. So I'm excited about that now. <laughs> and I'm sure that's a huge part of why he married her. I mean, if she had said she does not want to have children, that would have been it, I think. He never would have married her, although he was in love with her. He would have to be realistic and would have been. Lots of stress on any couple. No, she's out here Halloweening, which in the Christian community is the ultimate sin. I don't see them coming back from this. This screams, I'm out, I'm free, I'm gonna do me. No more extreme scrutiny and hideous rules to follow. I've just about had it. I'm done. That's what I see Megan saying. Yeah. So that's the real reason Megan Good and Devon Franklin is calling it quits. A combination of factors have come into play. But this is the straw that brought the camels back. They love each other dearly, but with people interfering in their relationship, with the constant poking, many of them also asking her about children, she wanted out. 
and most of the blame are cast on her for getting such a good man and not bending over backwards for him. But she loves her freedom and doing things her way. And they may very well get back together at some point because they still do love each other. And you know how relationships are. Just unpredictable, you know? I mean, Megan is treating her wedding band as she does her decision to have kids. Some days it's on, other days it's off. But Devon seems to be consistently wearing his wedding band. But as for Megan, one thing remains the same. She still has her Insta page saying Mrs. Franklin. <laughs> so we shall see. Megan may just realize Devon is as good as it gets out here and return to give him his major desire, which is having his children, if she's able to conceive by then. <laughs> So that's it for today, y'all. Let me know what you think about all this. I mean, should they have split because of this? Or do the right Christian thing and stay together and let God work it out? And do you think they'll get back together? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Share it if you know someone who likes the same tea that you do. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And ring that bell so you know when I upload more videos. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the comments. Bye for now.